hello friends in this video i will explain you how you can install uh, different different operating systems like centos ubuntu then windows 10 in uh, virtualbox in mac so mac is our host system and centos ubuntu windows 10 ergonomy guest system for us so we are going to install all these guest operating system into a virtual box and uh, virtual box itself will be installed in the mac so to install any uh, this uh, operating systems guest operating systems you have to uh, basically follow four steps as you can uh, see here on the uh, screen first step is you have to install the virtual box now virtual box can be installed uh, on any host system for example if you if you have got a windows system with you then you can download that uh, virtual box for windows if you have got mac you can uh, go to that website virtualbox.org and download uh, that uh, virtual box for your host operating system so if you go to downloads Here you can see that uh, they have got a Windows host, then OS X hosts, the Linux distributions are also available, and then Solaris hosts are also available. So let us say uh, your host system is over, say a Mac, then you have to download this OS X host. So I have already uh, downloaded and installed this on my system. Here you can see that this is how uh, it will look like when you install the virtual box on your Mac system. And I have already installed this Ubuntu, CentOS, Solaris and Windows uh, guest systems as well. In this video I am going to explain you how you can install these guest systems uh, here. So as I said, uh, there is the first step is this installation of the virtual box. So go to this website and then download a DMG file for your Mac. And uh, once it is uh, downloaded, install uh, the virtual box. After that, uh, this screen will open up and from here you can create new virtual machines. Let us say you want to install CentOS, then what you have to do is, you have to go to the CentOS uh, website and then download ISO image. So if you want to uh, install CentOS, you have to go to the CentOS website and then download that ISO. Then if you want to install Ubuntu, go to the Ubuntu website uh, then if you want to download or uh, install the Windows 10, then go to Windows 10. Windows 10 uh, doesn't need the license key as well, like product key as well. You can just download and install that. Similarly, if there is any other Linux distribution, you just go to that website and then download the ISO image. And then uh, after that, you can go to step three. Next is uh, step three is uh, you have to create this virtual machine, actual virtual machine, or you can also say guest virtual machine. So for that, this is the main uh, step. Now what you have to do is you have to click on new here, then give the name uh, of the system for example CentOS and on Mac this will be the default machine folder over there all the virtual machines will be stored. Then uh, here you have to select the type of the operating system, uh, Microsoft Windows, Linux, Solaris, BSD, IBM OS2 or Mac OS X or the so here you have to select Linux because CentOS is based upon Linux. So you have to select that one and then here you have to select version. So Red Hat, Oracle, there are different types of versions. Fedora, Gentoo, then Arc Linux, Ubuntu, etc. For CentOS you have to select uh, Red Hat 64 and then click on continue. So this folder already exists, it says. So I'm gonna create CentOS 1. Then here you have to select the amount of memory in megabytes to be allocated to the virtual machine. So this is uh, the RAM that you want to allocate. If you want the faster VM, then you will have to allocate a lot of memory. And using this slide bar, you can do that. Then you can click on continue. And then uh, over here, you have to select the hard disk recommended size of the hard disk is 8 GB and here you can uh, create a virtual hard disk uh, or there is another option use an existing virtual hard disk as well so just select create a virtual hard disk now and click on create select the first option virtual box disk image continue 
select dynamically allocated and here you can uh, give the size of the uh, disk so you can uh, choose any size that you like depending on uh, let us say uh, your original hard disk has got one TV then uh, based upon that you can choose size here I recommend normally around uh, 20 GB to 25 GB and then you have to click on create all right our uh, guest operating system or the CentOS virtual box is created but uh, right now you can't uh, launch that operating system CentOS operating system because we haven't installed actually uh, the operating system on that VM so this VM is created but we haven't installed the CentOS operating system as such so next step uh, what you have to do is you have to select that operating system and then click, uh, click the settings button here one of the important uh, setting is uh, storage so go to the storage and then click on empty and over there you have to click on this icon choose virtual artist optical disk file so basically what we are uh, doing here is we are telling this uh, VM that okay this is our ISO file what uh, from where you have to install the operating system so just click on that and then uh, navigate to the ISO image file that uh, you have downloaded so whatever is the file that you downloaded you have to go to that so here you can see that there is CentOS ISO file so you have to select that and then you have to click on ok that's it so what we did just now is that we have told VM that ok this is ISO file next time when I start this machine that a machine will uh, pick up that file and then try to install the CentOS on that VM so I'm gonna start that uh, machine now so now what will happen is that uh, that operating system will be installed on this VM so as you can see it is uh, started installing so here is the first screen install the CentOS 7 test this media install CentOS 7 so using the uh, keyboard's uh, key upper arrow key, uh, up key and down key you can choose the option so you can choose first option uh, let us say install CentOS and then after this uh, just follow the on-screen instructions to install this CentOS To install any other uh, operating system uh, Linux distribution, you have to follow the same steps except that IOC image will be different. That's it. Here you can see that it is starting the installer now. And then you have to follow the on screen instructions uh, to install. Like you, you, you will have to set the time zone, then uh, geographical region, keyboard uh, settings, you have to select all that. And then operating system will be installed. As you can see, uh, it is saying welcome to CentOS 7. Here you have to select all the settings. Right now, I'm not going to do all the steps. From here, it is very simple. Uh, this uh, installation instructions are very pretty uh, straightforward. So, right now, I'm just going to click on quit. So here you can see that uh, the CentOS uh, is already installed. So uh, once the operating uh, that uh, operating system is installed on the machine, what you have to do is next before uh, starting the machine next time, you have to go to these settings and then uh, click on storage, and then uh, from 
here you have to uh, remove that optical uh, disk from here and then uh, that operating system will be launched from the uh, hard disk itself so that's it uh, in this video if you have more questions on this uh, let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video